Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and in this video I'm going to be replacing in my Whirlpool refrigerator the ice maker that's down in the freezer. Now I've already removed the top rack giving me more room to work and if you want to know how to easily do that I've done another video which I'm going to link right here in the cards or down in the video description showing you how you can quickly and easily remove that rack and it's really not that much work to take out the top basket as well as remove this bottom piece as well. I just go through the extra steps, take off the bottom as well as the top. You'll want to watch that video to get you to this point. So here's a quick look at our Whirlpool refrigerator and if yours looks similar then you're going to have probably a similar ice maker. If you're unsure of the model number what you can do is just open up your refrigerator door and then right at the top of mine is where my model number and uh, information for my refrigerator is. Yours will probably be in about the same spot. So before doing any work I'm going to unplug the refrigerator. You want to get yourself some sort of a bright flashlight or something to light up the inside. So replacing the ice maker is a very quick and simple replacement. You're going to have to remove some screws on mine there is a screw underneath at the bottom that I'm going to be removing and then there are two screws at the top of the ice maker that I'm also going to be removing. There is a cable that attaches that you're also going to have to remove. You can use a flathead screwdriver otherwise I'm just using the uh, drill bit extender on my uh, driver here. That happens to be the same size as this screw. And then I'm actually going to use my flathead screwdriver and just get under these clips for this wire harness so that I can unclip those. And that's going to allow me to pull out these wires. Okay, so I got my wires free and I'm going to set those off to the side here and then take out those top two screws. So here's the ice maker. Let's just go through a couple of things. One, it's got this label on it. That's your part number. And again, I will link to this down in the video description. And in every video on this channel, I hide Tinker. Tinker's our little hidden robot and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel. He's going to be popping up during this video. If you happen to spot him, take note of the timestamp. That's the amount of time into this video that Tinker pops up. And be the first person to let me know the correct timestamp down in the comments section below. And if you're that first person, I will uh, give you a shout out in one of my future videos as well as put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. Before I set this one down on the table I actually went over to the sink and just kind of dumped it out a little bit because it had some water residue left in it. Now the new one that I ordered actually came with more wiring. If you order one of these and it doesn't come with wiring you can reuse your existing wiring. There's a couple things you need to do. One, if we flip this over to the side there is a clip down here at the bottom. You'll need to push out one of these wires. And then when you get that out, you'll need to unhook this wiring harness that's right here. Uh, there's a clip holding it in and you'll need to take this cover off. So I'm actually just kind of squeezing the top and the bottom. And there's little grooves down here. You can actually take a screwdriver and stick in there. Ah, uh, there, look at that. I just took my finger and uh, from this point, this gives you access to that clip right there. You can just take a quick screwdriver, see if I can do it with my thumb. Had to get a screwdriver. Let's see if I can just push down on this and pulls this out. Now I can also unhinge it from this wiring that's right here. And then if I needed to reuse this wiring, this piece right here would insert into the side of my new one. I'd feed the cables back through so your black one would go through this uh, holder down here and then you've got the rest of your wires going through this holder and now you've wired up your next ice maker. Our particular uh, ice maker went bad because it just sounds like the motor died and unfortunately we live in an area where we have very hard water and we've got a water softener, but it still wreaks havoc on the ice makers. So we burned out the motor on our previous one. Uh, I'm replacing it with this new one here. Sometimes ice will get jammed in here. Uh, so you constantly want to be monitoring your ice maker because if you get a lot of ice buildup and your ice maker is still turned on, 
the motor is running, but it's not able to crank out any of that ice because it's just caked up and built up in there. And that's going to eventually lead to something like our case where you're going to have the motor burning out. So when my uh, ice maker came in the packaging, this uh, lever to start and stop the ice maker was actually not attached. It's in this area. It needs to go in this area down here, and that's what allows you to put it up or down to start and stop the ice. So just make sure you do that before installing. Hey, if this video is helping you out, take a second, smash that like button as I greatly appreciate it. So just to quickly show you how the ice maker works, you've got your water that's coming in through that tube right there. That is going to uh, flow into the tray that's in your ice maker. And then from that point, your ice maker is going to start creating your ice cubes. These two top screws you don't need to completely take out. You can leave them in and just make sure they're out far enough so that you can either remove or uh, put your new ice maker in. So before you put the new ice maker in, I'm making sure that my cables and wiring harness are all on top of it. And then I'm just gonna hang the ice maker on top of the existing screws that are loose on the wall. I'm also taking care to make sure that the tray, the blue tray that's on the end is going underneath the water spout coming in. I'm able to feed the wiring harness into the uh, appropriate slots. My white wire is on the bottom, my black wire is on the top. They're grooved slots, so it's only gonna go in one way. I'm gonna push to lock it in place. Let's go ahead and tighten up our screws. All right, let's finish installing this other screw. Come on, come on, get in there. All right, we've got the ice maker installed. We're gonna plug our refrigerator back in. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my ice tray and then I can push this back closed. So that my ice maker starts making ice, we're gonna put the lever back down and then we will come back later and check to make sure this thing's working. So just checking in a day later and the uh, ice maker is making plenty of ice, so things are working good. So I'm interested to know how your uh, project went replacing your ice maker. Let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, I do weekly videos on this channel, all sorts of do-it-yourself projects, tech reviews, and more. My name is Jeff. You can find everything I talked about linked down in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.